Good afternoon. Today is the 5th of February. The weather is not very good, so I do apologise if the lighting's not fantastic in here. Um, but it's time to talk about the top 10 best selling cars of January 2021. January 2021 has been something of a, a tricky month for many of us. Obviously, we're in, in the midst of the third national lockdown. And no less so for the automotive industry in this country. Looking at the uh, figures provided by the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders, it looks like there's a 39%, approximately 9.5% decrease over the sales in January 2020. So that's how the way we're going to look at things. Uh, we will look at the top 10 best selling cars for January um, in just a second. But uh, if you're new to the way that we do things here, I will look at the statistics from the SMMT website, which I do have in front of me here, and I will let you know what the percentage change is compared with January 2020. For example, in the private sector, there was a 38.5% decrease between January 2020 and January 2021. We will look at uh, the, the current market share for the private um, uh, sales, sales, which actually is registrations. I always say sales, but technically it's registrations that happened in the month of January 2021. And we can see the market share in 2021 of the same period in 2020 uh, was, uh, as I said, a, a sort of change of minus 38.5% and a market share of 42. For the fleet sector, it was a 39 0.7% decrease and actually their market share is very strong. It's 56.5% at the moment. Very significant. Business sector is not very significant. It's a 56% decrease and a market share of 1.4%. Now if we look at uh, the fuel types from the cars that were registered or sold uh, last month We'll see that diesel is down, no surprise whatsoever, but it's down by an awful lot. It's actually down by um, minus 62.1%. Market share is now 12.3%. Just 12.3% of cars sold in this country are now diesel. It used to be at uh, one time over 50%, and that wasn't too long ago either. Huge decrease. Petrol, 50 0.6% decrease, market share is just under 50%, 49.8%. Again, huge decrease, really. With the next category, which is battery electric vehicles, that's, electric, uh, that's, that's cars which don't have any form of engine at all, just electric motor. The percentage change is remarkable. It's a 54.4% increase over January 2020, and that's a 6.9% that's market share. It used to be, just a year ago, 2.7, remarkable. Plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, despite the lack of any form of government incentive anymore, they have increased 28%, they're now 6.8% of the market, and they used to be 32 Hybrid electric vehicles actually have had a decrease. This is uh, things like the Toyota Corolla Hybrid, um, the Kia Niro Hybrid, Hyundai Ionic Hybrid. There's a number of them on the market now. And it's a minus 23.9% change. The market share is 7.6%. It has increased in market share, but the number of sales overall have decreased. With mild hybrid diesel, the examples I always use to this are things like the Audi A4 and um, the Kia Sportage and Hyundai Tucson. That is a 26.5% um, increase. That's probably due to legislation. Uh, that The uh, Euro 6D temp regulations came in on the 1st of January this year. And one of the ways that companies are dealing with this is to use existing engines, but add a mild hybrid system onto them. And this is a very clear example of that. So it's uh, about a 7% market share now. 
mild hybrid petrol. This is, uh, you know, exemplified in the Suzuki range, which is pretty much exclusively um, mild hybrid or hybrid powered now. It's a 40% increase and almost 10% market share. Last year, it was just a 4.2% um, of the market, so huge increase percentage-wise. Let's now look at the top 10 best-selling cars for January. It's the first time I've ever seen Kia have two entries in this particular chart, actually. Uh, it's a bit skewed because, uh, you know, we're down about... 39.5% on where we normally would be. But Vauxhall Corsa, that's a, a perennial favourite. I'm surprised if Fiesta is nowhere at the top, but you know it's probably due to the fact that there's an e-Corsa now as well. No no heavily electric Fiestas available. So the uh, first place is, is the Corsa, just over 3,000 sales. Next to the Kia Sportage, that's quite surprising actually. I think they're probably getting rid of the old Sportage uh, but it's currently on sale because there's a new one coming and that's just under 3,000 sales so uh, not, not particularly different actually. Cash Kai again there's a new one coming very soon um, 2,800 sales and fourth is the Fiesta that's, I've, I've not seen the Fiesta go this, this far down actually um, for a while. Fiesta uh, just about 2,600 Fifth place, Volvo well, XC40, a very, very popular car last year, surprisingly so. Uh, 2,200 sales. Mercedes A-Class, more popular now than any other car in its class, apparently, according to these figures. More popular than the Golf, the Focus, and the Astra. The Astra's not actually a big seller anymore. Um, you're far more likely to see an A-Class on the road now than an Astra. So, yeah, the A-Class, are just over 1,800 sales. The Golf, 7th place, just under 800 sales. Uh, for Puma, within a whisker of, of the Golf, uh, about 1,750 sales. Kia Nero, I don't know whether those are the hybrid or plug-in hybrid or electric Neros, there's all three types available, uh, just under 1,750. And 10th place is the Focus, which is just under 1,700. So when you get further down the rankings of these sales very often, or registrations, I should really cool but I don't you do see that there's a very very slim margin between them so now comes to my favorite point in any time we do these uh, top 10 best-selling car videos we look at how brands are doing in any given month so similar to the fuel types we're going to look at uh, the market share for January 2021 and compare it with the market share for January 2020. We might also look at the number of just cars, raw cars that were sold uh, last month. So we always start in alphabetical order with Abart, 72% um, decrease, market share 0.7%, um, only 61 cars sold. Alfa Romeo, decrease of 58%. Uh, market share of, uh, no, no, sorry, about was 0.07%, Alfa Romeo, 0.09%, um, just 84 cars sold in the last month. Bear in mind that any number above 39.5%, by minus 39.5% is better than average. Uh, Alpine, it's not really that significant, really. Um, We'll just skip over Alpine actually because it's tiny. Audi, this is far more significant. So 6,583 cars sold, 33% um, decrease, and a 7.29% market share. That's pretty good. Audi, Audi, BMW, and Mercedes are no longer premium brands in this country. They just aren't because a premium brand really should be something that's that's rare and unobtainable. And with Mercedes A Class outselling every other type of car in its class, despite being probably one of the most expensive of, of that particular type, it's all about the residual values and you know the, the finance agreements now. And an A Class will hold its value better because it's perceived to be a premium car, even if you know an Astra is far rarer. So people want to call these premium brands, but they're not. They're seen as premium brands, and you have to pay premium prices for the servicing of things but they're just you know 
which is as common or far more common in some cases than brands you'd consider not to be. Um, Bentley, 50% decrease, um, 89 cars sold, that's, that is a 0.1% market share. BMW, just over 7,000 cars sold, 7.8% um, 7, 7 market share, and a 31% a, uh, decrease, so it's not too bad. Citroen, again, this it shows you here how the tables have turned in the last few years. So Citroen used to be a volume brand, and now BMW are selling 7,000 cars, and Citroen is selling 1,500 cars. There you go, that just, just an example here. Um, one, uh, 1,500 cars sold approximately, 1.64% market share, 52% decrease. Uh, Cooper, I'll skip over because there's nothing to compare against from last year. Dacia, not too bad actually, 32% uh, decrease, 834 cars sold, 0.92% market share. Uh, Deus, trying to be a premium brand actually and succeeding quite well in the way that they don't sell many cars, but they really are, are looking to turn that around a bit and introduce some new models. But as far as the figures get, uh, are concerned for them, 109 cars sold, 0.12% market share, 62% decrease. Fiat, it's not looking great for Fiat. Uh, they do have a new electric 500 coming out, and some reviews are out on the internet of that. But whether that's going to save the sort of company, when they have, you know, really a lot of cars that have been sold for a long time 500X, 500L, Tipo, Panda, they've all been on sale for a long time. So I don't know what that's going to do with it, but there we go. 412 cars sold, 0.46% market share, 76% decreased. Ford, uh, let's just see. Yes, Ford have just about sold more cars than Audi have. 9.65% uh, of the market share, 47% decrease, 8,700 cars sold. Honda, again, for some reason in, in our market anyway, in terminal decline, I don't know why. Um, 970 cars sold, 1.07% market share, 70% decrease. Hyundai, just over 3,000 cars sold, 3.43% uh, market share. Sorry, 3.4%. Uh, yes, that's right, 3.43% market share and 23%. Decrease. Jaguar 914 cars sold, um, just over 1% of the market share and a 61% decrease. Jeep traditionally a very strong performing um, Fiat Chrysler brand, obviously it's now Stellantis. Um, 165 cars sold, 0.18% um, market share, 65% decrease. Kia, extremely good month for Kia. Um, 6,271 cars sold. Just under seven percent of the market, and um, just a 0.21 percent decrease. Phenomenal um, month for Kia for some reason. Don't know why. Hyundai, their sister brand, just not as popular in this country at all for whatever reason. Probably due to the warranty on Kias. Can't think of any other reason. Land Rover, uh, 3,600 cars sold, 4.02 percent market share, 30. 5% uh, decrease, so pretty average. Again, Land Rover, huge sales volume, far bigger than something like um, Citroen, bigger than Hyundai. There you go. Um, Lexus, 626 cars sold. I mean, they're kind of more and more of a premium brand because they have a you know a cheaper division than Toyota and that they don't sell so many cars. So, you know, perhaps they really are a premium brand. Um, but yeah, point. 0.69% market share, 57% decrease. Maserati, um, again, definitely a premium brand for Maserati, with these sort of sales figures anyway. Um, 50 cars sold, 0.06% of the market share, and a 30% decrease. It's actually not too bad. Uh, Mazda, 748 cars sold, 0.83% market share, 63% decrease. Um, I'd like to drive that new MX-30 actually they, they're bringing out, that looks interesting. Um, Mercedes, very strong performer in our market now. 6,600 cars sold, 7.31% um, market share, 41% decrease. MG, um, not the best performance really, but still um, 1,374 cars sold, 1.52% um, of the market share. 
46% decrease. So really better than average. Mini. Um, quite close to LCMG actually. Um, about 1700. One point eight five percent market share, twenty five percent decrease. Mitsubishi brand that's pulling out the market by the end of next year, I believe. Uh, about three hundred and sixty cars sold, point four percent market share, and a seventy four percent decrease. Nissan, quite a strong performer in, in uh, this country, probably because a lot of uh, quite a few of their models that are popular are actually built over here. Um, four thousand six hundred cars sold, approximately five point one percent market share. 44% decrease. Peugeot, um, much stronger performing than Citroen in this country for some reason. Um, 2,931 cars sold, 3.25% market share, 43% decrease. Porsche, very, very good month for Porsche for some reason, but not, they're not the best performing brand um, in terms of you know the increase, but they're pretty good. 919 cars sold, 1.02% market share, uh, similar to Honda, actually, I think, um, and 44% increase. Very good. Renault, um, 1,600 cars sold approximately, 1.75% market share, and 46% uh, decrease. Seat, traditionally uh, not as good a brand in terms of performance as Skoda, but you know, I think they, they cater to some type of customer, personally. Um, the engineering is exactly the same in both of those cars. Or car brands, I should say. Um, about two and a half thousand cars sold, 2.7% market share, 53% decrease. Skoda, um, about 3,100 cars sold, 3.42% market share, and 38% decrease. Smart, now a brand that's been recently relaunched, 84 cars sold, um, point. 0.9% market share, which sounds rubbish, but then you've got to realise that's a 236% increase over January 2020. So there we are. Sanyong, um, brand, unfortunately, is future's a little bit uncertain at the moment. Um, 47 cars sold in the entire country, it's not a lot. 0.05% um, market share, 54% decrease, which is a shame. Subaru, again, um, even fewer cars sold as 30, and we've lost the entire deal in that work. 0.03% um, market share, 39% decrease. They're trying to turn that around, I gather. Suzuki, 460 cars sold, 0.51% um, market share, way below MG now, um, and a 74% decrease. I don't know why Suzuki are doing so badly at the moment. I don't really understand, apart from the fact that because of all the mod hybrid models they've introduced, they just had to make them a lot more expensive, so maybe that's why they're losing customers. I don't know. Toyota, just new, again, a very strong performing brand in this country. Uh, 4,500 cars sold, 5% exactly market share, 43% uh, uh, decrease. Double check uh, Mercedes Benz um, sales again. Yes, Vauxhall, 5,600 cars sold, so uh, about 1,000 less than Mercedes Benz. There we go. 6.2% um, market share and a 39% a decrease. Volkswagen, of course, now sell far more cars than Vauxhall. Um, 7,600 cars sold, 8.4% market share, 43% decrease. Volvo, really quite um, surprising how you know many cars Volvo sell. They, they sold more cars than Skoda last month. Um, 30, sorry, uh, 3,200 cars sold, 3.52% market share, and a 22.5% decrease. Other imports, this is mainly Tesla. Why Tesla don't get their own um, column on this, I don't know. Um, 723 cars sold, they aren't all Teslas, but that's mainly Teslas. Uh, about 0.7% market share, and a 57% decrease. So overall... About 90,250 cars sold and a 39.5% decrease um, over January 2020. So there we are. Uh, that was the top 10 best-selling cars for January 2021. I really hope to bring you, you know, some some really good news uh, very soon about these. But we'll just keep reporting the statistics as they are. Um, 
you know, um, no industry seems to be immune from what's going on in the world at the moment. Anyway, that's quite enough from me, I think. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you wish to uh, do so. Uh, don't forget to like this video, to leave a comment below. And uh, the social media links are down in the description below. Thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching.